Welcome back. Got another little project here. Remember we worked on this and got our chute so it fit on there. Well, after looking at it, got a little problem here. I can see through it. So I've already took the two clips off and this sits on there with a, a groove. Look at the damage on our bagging chute here. get parts for these they're quite expensive and I got to make sure I get the right part number because the different decks have different shapes and the old styles um, are smaller and this is a 46 inch cut it's a little bit larger opening but this thing all broke apart here looks like uh, maybe a stick or a rock went right through it so let's take care of this and that'll take care of my dust problem on the uh, bagger and the way to do so would be to see if we can weld some plastic and then I did a water storage tank job where I took the old one and scrapped it and I had this plastic that I had to take in and this might work it's uh, quite flexible bends without cracking I don't know what type of plastic it is Sometimes they're stamped, you know. Of course, I don't know what kind of plastic. There's several kinds of plastic. But I guess in this case, it doesn't matter. But I think the color would look good, because once I'm done, it'll disappear once it gets dirty. So what we need is a patch. And I want to be able to bend it slightly if I can. And this has a bend in it. See, that's almost a full 90. And this is a full 90. And then it's straight. So I'm going to try to cut it around this lip. And if I did that, can't bend the tape measure very well. That's five inches. That's five inches. So I think if we cut this, I can form it right around that. I think this part's probably going to be 70 bucks. A lot of these are expensive. This has clips in it, snaps it to the deck. This will cost me nothing. I purchased this kit last year to do a couple little jobs. I had to work on a John Deere uh, tractor that I fixed, I think, a hood bracket or something on because the hood on that was, I don't know, it's $200 or something. The gun, these guns, I think, are, you know, 20 some dollars. You get a kit. So, what we got to do. Is pick out the wires that we want. There's different sizes, different styles. I'm a little stuffy. Can you hear? I'll probably end up having to buy some more of these, but I kind of like these clips. These probably don't cost too much. So what you do is you go across the seam and uh, meld them right in there, you know. So clip that in the gun, clip that in the gun, heat it up, and I could probably pull this section together and melt them two, and I might put two there, take a grinder and grind off anything sticking up. I think that's a good idea. Probably need this to cut them off. And then, let me bring my staples out. I'll leave them right here. And then, ah, oh, sorry I'm so stuffy. So I guess this, this idea and this idea go away. We'll concentrate on this. We need a, a measurement. The crack goes from here to there. It's about four inches worth of damage. So I think if I came on around, and that'll really give it strength on this bend. And then, uh, Probably a good place to start would be where this hole is. So I think a good tool to use, if I use the grinder on it, it's going to smoke and stink. I think this little cutoff tool ought to do it. Can you see what we're doing here? Probably. I think I'll just cut right up through there. Cut 
this right out. <laughs> and yet flexible. It more or less melts it, you know. See that? It's stuck back together for a second. Plastic's hot. And we said four inches, so if I go like, say, eight, come right around to... Uh, Maybe even the end of that bracket. Get rid of it, you know. Look straight up through there. Their target practice again. similar shape. Get rid of this little knob here. Dead side. We're going to have to clean up our little plastic mess here. So, so far, if I can bend this around, looks like I can, it'll probably get tight right here. See that? But I only need a little bit of that, if I can do it. If not, I'll just do a straight patch around and then do a separate one down here. be kind of nice to incorporate it going that way. And we won't be able to bend it backwards unless I get a heat gun on it. don't know if I want to smell that. But this curve has already started. And I could use part of this. I think as long as it's sealed, the stuff won't come out of there. I could also put a small patch on it and then one over the top of it. But we got to get this stuff sticking out. <laughs> So over the winter, of course, we got extra leaves. And we got, we got sticks, little tiny sticks and debris and acorns and a little too much to rake. I do have a lawn sweep, a toe behind, but it, it doesn't do that good a job. And it tends to dig in or it misses. But when I do the bagger, it vacuums. It does a nice job. You do have to empty it more often, but that's all right if it cleans the lawn, you know. Get a section over there. Maybe I'll stop and show you the reason I'm worried about this bagger so much. Here's one section of lawn. There's Sticks and debris there, 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 all the way around. And then around the perimeter, if you look down between the rocks there, that's what the lower lawn looks like. It's a huge amount of debris on it. See that? The bigger ones I'll probably pick up, but these, uh, you know, size of my finger, that'll suck and grind them right up, small pieces. Here's a section of lawn that I did. I scalped a couple spots, but uh, we still have frost heaving up, you know. And uh, you see the difference? There's like nothing here. We got a little wind last night, so there's a couple leaves on it. But that that does a great job. And that's going to give us a good start to get this lawn going. Get a couple good rains, it's going to take off. So I want that bagger working.
Well, I'm finished up with it. I'm uh, not a you know good plastic welder or anything, but that's a good thick piece of plastic. We heated that up to get a basic shape, and then I used a different uh, you know glue tips, metal tips. That gun will heat them up cherry red if you hold it on there more than like five seconds. Um, I ran a little bit of silicone around the outside to seal it. It was opened in the garage there, so I didn't open any. And then uh, the inside looks all right. I don't see air out through it. So I'm going to mount this thing and I think we'll be in business. So this is a no name brand. The only thing that I recommend on it is to wear gloves if you're going to warm up the plastic. And then. Uh, Cut off the little tips so that you don't cut your fingers on them. This kit was nice, had a knife, snips, and four different style tips. Use quite a few. I don't know if they recommend every inch or so. Take the time to read it, but you see the different angles you can do and where they want you to snip them off. I just got to learn it, but I don't want to spend you know, hundred and probably end up being about $120 to get a new one of these. I spent 15 minutes and I paid $23 for this gun. And uh, so we'll mount this up and uh, I'm going to call this a fix. This goes on with a clip here and two, two springs and then my top mount goes right into the bagger. So thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful.